Okay, for today, let's talk about an often overlooked topic, or at least a topic that I see often neglected and or not properly executed. So, safety slings. Um, starting with, we got the hook on the boom here for the first sling. That sling, not only do I choke it on the reducer, I pass it through that eye as well, so that I am doubled up. I don't like choking just on the reducer because sometimes the slings, especially these fabric ones as they get old, they tend to not stay tight on the reducer. They'll slack off and whatnot, but this way here, it's not going anywhere. Um, I have seen guys, <laughs> I hate to even say it, attach a first safety sling with his elbow. That is completely wrong. Uh, the whole purpose for the sling is if there were to be an issue at either one of these two clamps, and this were to separate, you connect it from the boom, a fixed piece of steel to your first reducer. Following safety slings, same thing. Wrap it around the reducer, pass it through the loop. When I get down to these lower ones, I actually like to choke one over top of the other, just for a little extra preventative measure. Don't really have to do that, that's just uh, my little overkill thing I like to do. Same thing here, pass one over the other, choke it, pass it through the handle, choke it down on the hose, not on the metal coupling. I always like to choke and pass through a loop if there is a loop available, thus doubling up on the safety factor. If I don't pass it through the loop and I just choke it around here, once again, like I said, when these get older, if they for whatever reason get a little bit slack and something were to happen, it lessens the chance of the sling being able to serve its intended purpose. And I know there's probably gonna be a lot of comments about all the reducers and the 15 foot, two and a half inch hose. Tip rating on this pump, I believe is 376 pounds. There is, was, was a decal. Interesting for whatever reason right now, I can't locate it. There usually is a decal on the tip section that uh, tells what your maximum tip rating is. Some booms are only 285 pounds. Um, or so even as light, light as 210 pounds in fact so anyhow know what your tip rating is because it can have a uh, massive effect on how much you can actually hang from here we use a two and a half inch hose for residential work I'll put a double mesh screen over the hopper we have really uh, forgiving creamy mixes here so we get away with doing this residential placers love it less spatter less spatter light nice controlled flow and uh, easy to push the hose around so anyhow to summarize, always attached to a fixed position on the boom. I've seen guys also choke it around here, which is okay as well. Not on the elbow, not on the elbow. Choke it nice and tight on the reducer, pass it through a loop if you got a loop, and do the overlap. I know some guys like to do this thing where they go under the handle. That's totally cool too. Uh, the other thing I should mention, safety pins at all clamps for anything that is going to be suspended over anyone's head a strap and a safety pin between every joint that is the rule it's amazing to me how often i see no straps no pins uh, there was an incident up here in canada just a few years back pump booming over a roof the five inch clamp i believe caught on the gutter and or maybe it was a chimney i'm not sure exactly caught on something popped open no safety pin no sling five inch tip hose came off actually rolled down the roof off the edge of the roof landed on a guy's head killed him completely true story totally avoidable anyhow this is how i like to do it uh if you have a better way or a different way please comment below i'm always open to learning new things but this is how i always do it and i have not had any issues and uh yeah hope you can take something positive from this and apply it to your daily routine anyhow Thanks again for watching. That is today's quick little video yo. Safety slings and pins, use them and use them right. Over and out. Found it. I knew there was a placard on here with the uh, tip weight rating. 166 kgs for us in Canada and Europe and most of the world. 365 pounds for everywhere else. 
So yes, 365 pounds is the tip rating. I was incorrect in stating 376 pounds, but we do have booms that are rated at the previously mentioned 376 pounds. We also have some that are rated at 210. Anyhow, here it is, 365, every boom should have that. Um, you can go through a catalog, Conforms is always a good one, and they have weight ratings for all of these pieces filled with concrete. So you can do the calculations and see what you come up with. But all these pieces here are within the 365 pounds, so we are good. Oh, and the other thing I forgot, now that I got a thousand subscribers, thank you very much, a very exciting moment for the channel. I almost forgot the, uh, the trademark ending. Like, share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe. Over and out, thank you.